Well, you guys got another video here for you now if you're a big itunes user and you're suffering error messages then this piece of software can fix these for you now itunes is a well-known uh, brand and also a lot of people use it to play their music and stuff like that so if you are a user of itunes and you are suffering uh, from error messages then this video could be for you so what we're going to be doing is taking a look at i my phone tunes fix and it basically can fix hundreds uh, of iTunes errors, install, connection, restore and backup issues as well as other issues as well. It can repair any iTunes issue without any data loss which is another plus sign and also it can clear iTunes to free up and boost your computer so it's another good plus sign for it. Now the thing is it's not free but you can try it for free here. Uh, there's only a Windows version at the moment uh, but I think the Mac version is coming real soon. The prices on this one here I'll just quickly show you. Uh, the one year license is $14.95 for one year for one PC and also it goes up to basic license and so on you can check these out and read these at your own leisure but basically it's a pre pretty decent bit of kit for fixing errors now I've got the software here and I'm going to quickly install it here and I'll give you a quick uh, look at it so you can see what it looks like so basically uh, I'm going to create a desktop icon here leave that as is click install and I would just let that quickly install and click launch uh, my iPhone tunes fix okay so when you've installed it you can see here it's telling us it's unregistered and uh, this is what you get with a free trial so uh, you're pretty restricted here for use of all these uh, added features on here when you've uh, got the free version but if you want to do the registered version again you would have to purchase it and uh, there is some good features here which will fix a lot of known issues with iTunes so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put my license key in so there we go that's uh, registered uh, successfully okay so the next step once you've done that is it's going to start to uh, scan your system and detect iTunes and it will take a bit of time so let it run its scan and uh, when it's completed it will give you some options to run some fixes okay so here we have the actual software itself as you can see it's got a nice uh, user interface here very very simple it's detected iTunes version 12.7.5.9 and as you can see here it gives you uh, these little buttons here which you can click on depending on what the error is on your system so you can see here quick clean this will delete iTunes media, backups and update files, etc. By pushing this, this will then uh, start the process and uh, what it will do is ask you to run a scan and you can then scan and it will go ahead and do that process. So let's basically just click on scan here and you can see it will run a scan and it will detect all this stuff and you can then click in here and now if this was full updates folder and stuff like that, you can click on clean and hopefully this will resolve your issue you can see here we've got some other ticks down here as well so let me go back here we've got deep clean this also removes backups made by third-party software so basically when you click on this this will also remove backups made by third party software so we'll click on this and just have a look here you can then run a scan and it will give you that option here so as you can see here movies music and so on you can you can see I've got no data in here this is a fresh install but basically yours will be full of stuff here and you can go ahead and remove that okay so I'm just going to stop this and go back now also full uninstall here this gives you an uninstaller so it will uninstall iTunes and re related uh, components for iTunes so this will uh, go ahead and do that you've also got repair iTunes connection issues so if you've got a connection issue you can click on this and maybe you're having a connection issue where you can't connect to it and you're getting an error message or unknown errors you can go ahead and then run this feature here and this should uh, resolve that problem another thing here we've got uh, fix iTunes install and update issues so if you're having issues with installing or updating then you can click on this and what it will do is it will run a scan as you can see here I'm just going to click on repair here and this repairs all issues related to iTunes installation updates uh, for example iTunes helper was not installed correctly 
service failed to start, installer has insufficient privileges, etc. So you can go ahead and run this and it will go ahead and run a scan on that system. Now repair backup and restore errors, these are pretty common and you can run this by just clicking on here and then going ahead and run uh, repair backup and restore errors. When you click on this, it will go through its process like so. It's just going ahead and doing that. Downloading the repair driver, please keep your internet stable. Now moving on to the last one, we've got fix other iTunes problems. Inside here, if you click on this, you can then run the repair. This will download their driver and also it will also uh, run scans for any sort of abnormal uh, sort of errors or something like that the system's not running right when you're opening it up and it can try to uh, fix those and optimize your itunes for you and that's pretty much it that is the review of the i my phone uh, tunes fix if you've got itunes and you've got issues with it then give this a go and hopefully this will fix all your problems anyway my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.